Hello interwebs, how are we doing? Nice to see you again. Today I wanted to talk to you about these things. These are root tabs. So when you want to put plants in your aquarium and you don't have a very fertile soil or substrate, you might be looking at these. Hi guys, how are we all doing? Ben from the Simple Fish Life here, where fish keeping is made simple. You're about to watch Aquarium Adventures. If you like what he does, if you enjoy his content, make sure you hit that subscribe button for him. Give him a thumbs up, he's a top bloke. He'll appreciate every bit you do. Thanks very much. So, thanks for joining me, nice to see you again. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we use these and why we use these, and maybe even how you make your own. So these are essentially aquarium root tabs. You'll hear people talking about put some tabs in your substrate when you're interested in planting out your tank. I use these mostly when I'm using sand as a substrate because sand in and of itself is an inert substrate. It doesn't hold any nutrients. Um, so it needs a little bit of help if you're going to use a plant that feeds primarily from the soil or the substrate. Now this all started out with a uh, conversation I had on the internet. You know how how good Facebook groups are for having little conversations uh, where someone had quite innocently asked do I need to buy a proper planting substrate for my planted aquarium? Uh, I think they wanted to plant some, in fact I think they wanted to plant some java fir which you don't actually need to plant in the substrate at all but that's, a, that's by the by. But the question they asked was do I need to buy a proper planted substrate or can I just use my sand that I've already got and use some root tabs? So before I could even answer that one, someone had jumped in and said, No, completely different, you must use planted substrate. You must use eco-complete and listed off a, a number of other types. And I had replied and said, Well, that's not entirely true. If you want plants and you want sand, then you can just use root tabs. Now, obviously, eco-complete and all these various other planted tank substrates are superior to just using sand and root tabs. But the reason that is, is because that type of soil, what they can do is they can retain the nutrients within uh, the substrate. Because they're a clay-based substrate usually, they will retain some nutrients within that and then release it to the plants as and when they need it. Whereas what you're doing with these things is you're sticking it in and it's a, it is a slow release, but once it's run out, it's run out. It's not Your sand isn't going to start sucking in nutrients from the water. Um, so that's the benefit of using a planted tank substrate. So obviously they are better and you can achieve better faster results if you see what I mean but ultimately if a plant is getting the nutrients it needs it will grow and it will thrive and it will be happy and you can do that with these things. Now generally these things last anywhere four to eight months probably so I look to replace them about every six months uh, and it's really easy to use you just stick them in pop that an inch onto the substrate somewhere near the roots of the plant that you want to use and you're good to go. So when I want to plant them I'll generally take a capsule in my hand, use a pair of aquascaping tweezers and it's as simple as sticking it roughly where the plant roots are going to be. Slide it under the sand, give it a bit of a wiggle to let go let the sand fill in round about it. Job done. Rinse and repeat. Your plants will let you know when it's run out if you can't tell um, because obviously they'll start to deteriorate, deteriorate and you will see some issues. But the, one of the other reasons was, was obviously I had started a conversation with this chap and it got down the route where everything I said now was picking me apart. So I had tried to help the other person said, I just buy some root tabs off eBay or make my own. Um, they're all much of a muchness. So then he started chiming in and saying, no, you have to buy this particular brand of or from this particular seller because uh, they're using uh, a much higher quality uh, fertilizer. And I decided the only way to win such an argument was to go out and buy them myself. So. I'll show you the two side by side. This is the one that I got from uh, eBay myself and this is the one that I got from the seller that he suggested. Now if you can see these things 
you quickly realise that they're pretty much identical. And the reason that they're pretty much identical is because they are identical. And the reason that they're identical is because anyone that makes these tablets is using this stuff. So this is Osmocote. It's a slow release plant food, as it says on the tin or bag. Um, and it's generally regarded to be the best one for your DIY hobbyists to use because it's readily available, it's fairly cheap. I say fairly cheap, it's not cheap cheap. Um, but it has all the ingredients that you want. So I could read you the ingredients, but you can do that yourself by going and Googling it. But uh, plenty of the planted tank forums and fish groups and things like that, this is the one that they recommend. This has been, there's been a shortage of this in some countries, I believe, for quite a while. So people have been using other things, but I can tell by the makeup of these that they are exactly the same. And if I bring in a third version, one of them I made. So anything that you buy off eBay in this form is pretty much made by somebody at home who's then selling them online. So they should be relatively cheap, uh, but that don't let that put you off. They will do a good job and they will help you grow your plants. All you have to do is make sure you're monitoring your plants, testing your water, all that kind of good stuff that you would normally do. Uh, and you can grow plants with these. You will doing a little bit. Ugh. You will be doing a little bit more work because you're going to have to replace these and keep supplementing them. And you're going to have to find the right balance. So I can't sit here and tell you, well, for every um, every bunch of val, you need to put in two root tabs because it's different for every every tank and every situation. So you do need to do a bit of figuring out and a bit of trial and error, possibly. But generally, I'd like to space them out fairly regularly. I've not found that they foul the water or anything like that and the, they work really well for me. So if you don't want a planted tank substrate then this is the way to go because you can grow it in an inert substrate as long as you're using something along these lines. Don't forget though that I'm not a planted tank expert. Also every plant that you buy isn't going to need uh, to be fertilised through its roots so a lot of plants will draw the nutrients they need from the water so it's a good idea to use a good quality fertiliser be that the stuff that I'm just trying now. This is the Evolu Evolution Aqua, the Aquascape or Complete Plant Food, but in the past I've always used uh, Profito. Um, so find a good, a good fertiliser that you're happy with. I can't recommend this yet because I've only just started using it, so I don't know how good it's going to be. Um, but that's where you want to go. Um, so, how do you make these things? Well, very easy. You buy yourself a bag of this stuff. You buy yourself a bag of gel pill capsules, so these are kind of biodegradable gel pill capsules and what happens is, I'm going to open this bag, you take them apart, you fill them up with the Osmocoat, you put them back together and that's it. It's not exactly hard, but I could show you me doing that if you like. I'm not sure you've gained anything by seeing me do that itself, but that's essentially what you're after. Simple as that. Repeat 50 times, charge 20 pence or whatever it is. You can get away with a bit more than that. In terms of tips, um, the capsule size you want is probably double zero or zero. I think the bigger ones are triple zero, then double zero, then zero, and then they get smaller as they go up one, two, three, four. So depending on how large you want to go, I recommend double zero. Um, if you're going to store them for a while, it's a good idea to keep them in a Ziploc bag and not make the fatal mistake I made of putting all my gelatin capsules in one bag and then dropping a big glob of water in there by accident because it just dissolves away and you wasted money. I got all these off of eBay, there's plenty of sellers around, take your choice. I got this stuff from local garden centre I think but you can also get it from Amazon and places like that. And another good tip is if you're storing them like this in a Ziploc bag or something. You know those little silica uh, bags that you get with new electronic equipment and stuff like that? Save them up, stick them in there and then condensation and things won't get in and won't ruin your bag. But you should be good to go. Sometimes if you don't put the capsule deep enough you might notice some of the little balls rising to the top. Um, I'll get my puffers getting all inquisitive like this down here. So what you do in that case is you just take a little aquascaping tool or 
a finger and just press them back under. It's as simple as that. It's dead easy to deal with that. It does happen if you don't get it quite right. The gel capsules obviously dissolve in the water. So you can see that one that I've just put over there has let a couple of balls up to the top. No issues though. Just go in and poke them back under. So that was it. Just a pretty quick one. Just wanted to chime in in there and settle an argument. Discussion, not an argument. Um, but if you've got any questions, by all means let me know in the comments what you use in yours. Um, if you're not using Ormaco and you're using something else because you found better results, let me know because I'm always looking to improve the things that I do. Um, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But nice to see you again everyone and I shall see you next time. Bye! Thank you.